Hello everyone. So in the area where I live, we have a couple feet of topsoil and then under that is this orange clay. And I have several experiments that I want to try with this clay. So today I'll be digging a hole in my backyard and filling up a couple buckets with it. Now, whenever you start a digging project, you want to be sure to call and have your utilities marked so you know where they are and you don't damage anything while you're digging. All right, so I'm out here at the edge of our property now in a nice out of the way spot. Over here by the fence, you can see some blue spray paint where they marked a water line that's on the other side of the fence. Uh, but there's nothing else out here to worry about, so that's good. I'll be digging uh, right here by this other hole I already dug, and I'll see you after that. So I now have the topsoil cleared away. If you look closely you can see a difference in color between the topsoil and the clay. Uh, it's starting to look a little more orange now. It gets a lot more orange further down. This is kind of like the transition layer between the two. And now I'm going to start doing a thinner hole like this one over here. And the reason I do the big hole first is because the topsoil is a bit more fluffy and tends to cave in and I don't want it filling up my hole. Uh, but the clay sticks to itself much better so I don't have to do that for the clay. And so now I'm going to start filling up these buckets. Alright, so this hole is now about four feet deep and I filled up both of these buckets. So let's take them in. Alright, now I'm going to dump the clay into this flat bin so it can start drying. And once it's dry, I'll be able to use a ball mill to break up all the clumps, which will make sifting out the rocks much easier. <laughs>
So unfortunately, I forgot that I would need to pour it a little differently to preserve the color gradient, which means that this dark band here, which is from just below the top soil, ended up in the middle, while under that is over here, which it's a little bit yellowish, and as you go deeper, the clay turns slightly more red. So in my next video, I'll be working on my ball mill, and then we can test it for the first time. I hope to see you then.